Hey there, welcome aboard. Walter here, and I'm going to talk about an emotion that we we go through as traders, and this is a difficult one. I uh, I've got experience with it. We when I first started trading, a friend of mine basically convinced me to quit my dream job and move down where he lived to learn how to trade. And he <laughs> he sent me to a class. He he it was in the back of the paper. They used to have these one ads, and it said, "Hey, you know, learn how to." make money from your home or something like that. He went to the class and it's a week long class and I went to it too under his recommendation. Then after that, we were going to take my money and, and, uh, and, you know, accelerate the growth of the, of the, of the account. Basically that was the plan. There was also a Swedish billionaire mixed in there too, but I'll tell that story another time. Basically what happened was, uh, my friend was much more better. He was, much more uh, experienced as a trader. He traded options. He traded stocks during the dot, the first dot com bubble in the in the mid nineties. Uh, we both made money then, but everyone was making money then. So he definitely knew more what he was doing than I did. Fast forward a day and a half or two two nights in the London session, which is deep into the night in California where I was living, and we tripled my account. And we were high fiving each other. My friend admitted that he, his trading wasn't even on yet. He was just starting to hit his stride. And then by Friday, by the end of the week, uh, the account was basically blown up. And so the question is, why does this happen? Why, why was it that we blew up the account? Now, there are obviously two aspects to this. The first is that the math was all wrong. And we had no idea what the math was. I'll show you in a minute how you can see what the math looks like. And you can also look at the math behind growing an account quickly at nakedtradingclass.com. The link below or above this video, you can go there, get the on-demand class. It'll show you three ways to grow an account quickly, which is what we're doing right now with a small $1,000 account. Well, so he, it, what I realize now is that we didn't know what our numbers were for our trading system, and we also didn't understand the importance of emotions. And we were really excited when we were making money, and we were really upset when we lost. So the in, we, we won more often than we lost. The issue was, of course, that our losers were huge and our winners were small, which incidentally is the number one mistake that most traders make in Forex. Most currency traders have more wins than losses, but their losses are much bigger than their losers. And you can Google 43 million trades and daily FX to find the report on this to see the data behind this. So my question for you is, well, what do you do? Like, how do you know when you've got the wrong emotion? How do you know when you've got the right emotion? That's really what I want, want to give to you. Here's how you know that you've got the right emotion. When you take a trade, if you are bored out of your skull. When you have a loss, if you don't take it personally. When you have a win, if you don't get super giddy. And I mean, it's always nice to win, but when you're overly high or overly low, what that suggests is that you don't really know what the overall outcome is going to be. If you look at studies of long-term gamblers, people who trade or, or uh, make money trading, or I say trade, but it's really placing bets on games like basketball, football, and so forth, and also making money in poker tournaments, what you will find is that they look at things from a really long-term point of view. And really, as traders, we should as well. We should look at things from the long-term point of view. So we shouldn't really get over, overly emphasize any one given trade. So let me share with you how you can do this in your own trading. I'm going to switch screens. I'm going to show you on. I'm going to share with you. So you're going to see here this spreadsheet. And you can download underneath this video. But... If you know what your expectancy is, if you know what to expect, then it really shouldn't be a big deal if you have a loss. If you have a loss, it's simply bad luck. Let me give you an example. So right now, um, we're, I'm basically operating at essentially a 37% win rate, right? And so my losses are 63% of the time. And I've got essentially what you would call like a 2.5 reward to risk ratio. You can see here that the the average loss is $100 and the average win is 250 which means that overall, for every $100 I risk, I'm expected to get $156 back 
on on a trade. Now, is that going to happen every trade? Of course not. Is that going to happen most trades? No. But it's the aggregate. It's the big picture here that we're talking about here. Over a long period of time, what will happen is um, this system will make money. So why should I get upset or crazy uh, when things don't go well, when there's a loss? I shouldn't because there's really only one reason why I would have uh, a loss, and that is bad luck. Provided, of course, that I've taken my trades according to the rules, my risk management is correct and everything is sound, there's no reason to get upset over the six in 10 trades that are going to be losers. There really is no reason at all. And that's really what trading comes down to. It comes down to understanding your numbers and, and knowing why, understanding why you have a loss. If I have a loss, I know it's due to bad luck. If I have a win, it's due to good luck. But the big picture is what? The big picture is that I'm trading like the casino. I know that when I walk into the casino, and the reason why the casino will give you a free night or a free weekend or whatever is because they know they're going to get your money. Same thing with me. The reason why I walk into the broker and I, I wire the money to the broker is because I know over the long haul I will pull more out of the market than I will give and donate to my broker. And make no mistake, I'm making money from the other traders, as you will. You make tra When you make money, you make money from the other traders who are making mistakes. You don't make money from your broker. Your broker gets your broker definitely gets his share. Don't, you don't have to worry about them. <laughs> so that's, that's important to note. Um, the, if you want to get more information on this, you can go to nakedtradingclass.com and you'll see three ways of growing an account quickly. The, the key here is that you have to decide what you're going to do. And then when you decide what you're going to do, you know, there's no, there's no excitement anymore, right? If I've back-tested 800 trades in my strategy and I know that it works over the long haul and I know that I'm sticking to my rules, those two things are critical. I understand the math, right? And number two is I'm applying my system as I should. If I can do those two things, then I'm going to make money. There's no reason to freak out over a given drawdown, right? So that's really what it comes down to. Trading just comes down to understanding the math and then executing. I hope that this helps. Hope you go to nakedtradingclass.com and learn how to grow an account quickly. One of those three methods will probably be very interesting to you. I wish you happy trading. We'll see you in another video. See ya. Bye.